Hi, I'm John Olson. Welcome to Next Stop from America's first destination ski resort. Sun Valley is a year-round, world-class resort destination. We're here in the wintertime, so in this episode, we're rocking all things winter. From downhill to Nordic skiing, from a cozy sleigh ride to stomping tunes, you're gonna love this show. The fun starts now. It's a gorgeous day on top of Montbaldi, a gorgeous day to ski. It's almost always a nice day to ski up here. The oh. weather here is pretty awesome, right Sonia? Absolutely, it's so gorgeous up here. We have tons of sunny days. There's a lot of organized groups up here today. There's a lot going on, yes. but it seems like it's organized, not chaos. Back here, all the ladies here, is a group called the Divas. Divas stands for the Incredible Women Alpine Shredders. The Incredible Women Alpine Shredders, yes. yeah. <laughs> you can put a Y on the end of that, yeah. 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 <laughs> The ski lifts here are amazing. How many lifts are there? Describe the terrain before we hit it. There is a variety of terrain. Most of the green runs are probably in most other ski areas. Ski is blue runs. And uh, then we have amazing just pitches that are consistent pitches for about 3,000 vertical square feet. This view is awesome. Isn't it incredible? This ski area is surrounded by four mountain ranges. We are so lucky. We have the Boulders, the Pioneers, we're in the Smokies, and to the far north of the Sawtooth Mountains, which are just amazing. Sonia, I love this mountain. I love skiing it, but I always like to learn something new. What do you suggest? What would be really fun today would be learning how to sink ski. So synchronized skiing, yeah. we can either ski in the same pattern or do a figure eight. And the ticket to sink skiing is your pull swing and pull touch. So if I'm in front, when I swing my pull, you're going to swing your pull. You make it sound easy. It is. Okay, well, Great. Let's, uh, let's give it a try. Okay. It was an epic morning on Baldy, but something was missing. Snowboarders. They're here at Dollar Mountain, a freestyle terrain park that also doubles as one of the top teaching mountains in the world. Dollar Mountain has been ranked one of the best teaching mountains in the world for a reason. We have various terrains starting from really mellow greens that gradually increase. We have amazing lifts. We start out with a magic carpet um, and then we go to a quad detachable lift, which is very um, easy lift for beginners to get on and off. We also have amazing instructors that provide some of the best instruction in the world. Today, um, a lot of these children that are riding the Magic Carpet are just guests on vacation, but also we have um, a couple events. We have a snowboarding event going on um, and different racing events going on as well. There's an event going on here today, and people are just flying down this course. What's this all about? We're doing a snowboard event, um, the Inner Mountain Series, and it's a board across today. I would think it's gotta be one of the fastest growing sports for kids, though, where there's a mountain. Because they're all, no one's skiing anymore. Just yeah. us oldies. Yeah, and you know, we're, we're the, the retention rate is, we're trying to make it higher by giving us themselves, you know, places to learn. What we did is we attacked the youth market, put in a half pipe, put in jumps, put in progression parks, put in beginner parks, put in a tubing hill, and it's pretty much the family fun zone right now. I think I'm gonna go join Grandpa over at the tubing hill, because that's more my style. Yeah. As you see from our day today at the Sun Valley Resort, there's something for everybody of all ages. I love tubing! And away we go! Woo! <laughs> Next stop, Sun Valley Resort for Upright Ski! If you enjoy a great day on the mountain like me, you know there's a couple things you look forward to at the end of your ski day. We're back at the Sun Valley Resort for Apri Ski, a time to get together with friends and family and share war stories from your day on the mountain. Some true, some probably not so true, like how I was totally ripping it in the half pipe. 
You also know that you work up one heck of an appetite. In just a few minutes, we're going to board a horse-drawn carriage for a sleigh ride to Trail Creek Cabin for a dinner fit for a king. Trail Creek Cabin was built back in 1937 in accordance with Sun Valley Resort by Averill Hua Harriman, who is the founder of Sun Valley. Over the years, this cabin has developed into a public venue used for uh, sleigh rides um, in the winter months and in the summer months we have your regular drive-out dining. We have a spectacular menu. One of our most popular dishes is an Idaho white trout. It is a uh, farm raised in Hagerman, Idaho. So what's your favorite thing on the menu? What's, what's the must try? Uh, we're, we're known for our ribs, our baby back ribs. So, I just saw some go by those, yeah. looked incredible. And um, my favorite is the trout. You like the trout? Yeah. Can I try it all? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, just order a whole bunch of, of everything and just share. Coming up on Next Stop, world famous Sun Valley Resort and a ride on the Beast. The Sun Valley Nordic and Snowshoe Center is located in the 58,000 square foot Sun Valley Club, located right in the backyard of world famous Sun Valley Lodge. This stunning facility features a restaurant, lounge, bar and locker rooms and also has equipment, rental repair and storage. Virtual indoor golf adds to the list of extras at the skier Shangri-La. The Sun Valley Club also doubles as the golf clubhouse in the summertime. The Sun Valley Resort is truly a year-round resort. When I knew we were coming to Sun Valley, I said, please let us stay at the Sun Valley Lodge. I've stayed here before. I love this property. And thanks to Jack, here we are. From the minute you walk in, you feel this special sense of history just right in the lobby. History and comfort feel exactly. like your home. I like that. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. This is a little bit nicer than my home, though. <laughs> Very special place. Uh, when Averill Harriman founded Sun Valley, he said it's got to be roughing it in luxury. <laughs> I love the, all the old pictures, though. You really feel like yeah. you're back in time when you're here. Sense of history. We're very Total proud of our of history. history. Very, very proud of our legacy here and the history of Sun Valley and what it's meant to uh, not only the ski industry, but the state of Idaho. And the lodge is a special place. You've got the lodge, you've got the inn, which is just a small part of the whole Sun Valley Resort. But let's talk about the lodge and the inn and the different rooms that are available and some of the more famous people that have stayed here. Uh, we right now have 148 rooms in the lodge. There's a standard room, a medium room, a king room, there's suites. In the inn, there's actually four three-bedroom apartments also. So we've got a variety of accommodations here at the Sun Valley Resort. Tell us about room 206. 206 is famous for a reason, because it's called the Hemingway Suite. And uh, Ernest Hemingway spent a lot of time there, and he finished writing For Whom the Bell Tolls there. I love the property. I love the fact that you've got ice skating and hockey right off our shoulder here, and the pools, the heated pools. Another thing that's very unique to this building itself, we're sitting in the lodge, is the bowling alley. Built in 1936, a six-lane bowling alley. We keep that history there. It's a great family spot for the evenings. It's a cool uh, spot. Yeah, I like it. And, but the whole resort is more than just the lodge or the inn. There's 2,600 acres here. We've got a lot to do here. And it's, it's made for people who are active all year round. Uh, in the winter, of course, we have two different ski mountains. Dollar is uh, where the first chairlift in the world was. And in 1939, we looked across the valley at this big mountain over there called Baldy and decided to put some lifts up there. So with the leftover, where the pile of timbers were, they built Roundhouse. And that was our first warming hut on the mountain. And it's still a great place to have lunch and even dinner. A lot of history there. It's great, four-sided fireplace, wonderful views of the valley. One favorite pastime is the shopping area, and people like to shop, of and of course, course eat. Oh, the, the great restaurants. The facilities on the mountain are just incredible. The, the nicest lodges, yeah. the ski lodges I think I've ever seen. Yeah. Everybody loves something free. You got yeah. free transportation to the mountains, and you have free ski storage. Absolutely. That's unique. Absolutely. For all the guests of the Sun Valley Resort, it's also free. We pick them up at the airport, the Sun Valley Airport, I didn't 13 know that. miles away. Well, how about yeah. that? I want to talk a little bit about the ice skating rink yeah. because that's year-round. That's one of what two in the world that are uncovered and open year-round. 
Yeah, that it's pretty great. special. And you have it's, lots of great shows during the summertime. Yeah, right? it's really amazing to it be 85 degrees and people are out there ice skating and their shorts and their t-shirts. But a real special occasion in the summer is when we have our ice shows. We've been having them for 74 years now. And the greatest Olympic and world champions have been here skating. You get a real sense of community here too. Like everybody mm -hmm. knows each other and likes each other. It's, it's a really friendly place to be. It is, it's very friendly. I think it's uh, one of the reasons people keep coming back and one of the reasons we all live here. There's something that I read about, which is Ride the Beast. What is Ride the Beast? Ride the Beast is when one lucky guest can ride the grooming machine with the groomers. You know, Jack, I always get to have all the fun on the show, so I think it's time that I share some of the wealth with one of my camera guys. You think that's a good plan? I think it's great. And I know Josh probably doesn't want to do it, so Mike, ride the beast. My name is Jim Weehand. And I've been grooming here for 31 seasons. On my left hand here, there are two sticks. That's my steering, there's one for each track. And then everything else is on this joystick in my right hand. Well, you start with the blade and you cut the snow first and then that all goes underneath you. You fill in the holes, cut the high spots and the tracks chew it up a little bit in the process. Then you get to the tiller back here, and it chews up the snow and turns it into like a fine powder. And across the back you have the comb, and that's what makes your corduroy pattern. I like running these snow cats. I just think they're impressive machines. One of my favorite parts, I think, are the sunsets I get to see. As Mike ends his day on the beast, I end mine chilling out in the heated pool at the Sun Valley Lodge. This resort is incredible. In fact, I challenge you to find any year-round resort that has more going on than the Sun Valley Resort. For more information, go to sunvalley.com. Coming up, a Nordic festival, a tour of beautiful downtown Ketchum, and we jump off a mountain. There's a reason Sun Valley has sun in its title. The Wood River Valley is known for its dry, sunny summers and its mild, sunny winters. Temps in the summer average about 77 degrees Fahrenheit and in the winter about 33 degrees Fahrenheit with up to 200 inches of snowfall every year. The best part about the weather here in Sun Valley, they average up to 250 days of sunshine every year. So no matter what the season, it's always a good time to visit Sun Valley. And now for something completely different, we decided to jump off Mount Baldy today. Well, we've got just about ideal conditions right now, and uh, we're up here top of limelight. Wind's coming in out of the north, and uh, so what we're going to do, I'm going to get your harness on you. We're going to lay the glider out right here where we're standing, and uh, we're pulling up into the wind. We're going to feel quite a bit of pull. How about landing? Landing's easy. You know, it's just like coming off. I forget it. We don't even need to talk about landing. Yeah, yeah. Let's just go. I mean, Let's just do this we'll thing. We'll talk about it when we're up there. <laughs> but yeah, it's like stepping off a high-speed chairlift. We're going to come in and land real soft. And straight down the ski run we go. Woo! Ha ha ha! Awesome! <laughs> On your next trip to Sun Valley, it's highly recommended to pop into the Sun Valley Visitor Center. This is a really unique spot. Yeah. Never been in one like this. No, it's a pretty uh, pretty interesting structure. It's an old bank that we um, 
tour park this last fall, and uh, we wanted to create a place where all visitors and locals alike could come together. Um, we're co-tenants with a coffee shop here, and um, it's sort of the place where you start your adventure when you come to Sun Valley. What we have is really the ability to, on an iPad, um, to control these screens, to show people what they want to do, how to get out uh, into the surrounding area, whether it's art galleries or for a hike or whitewater or river rafting in the summer. All year round, there's there's a little bit of something for everybody. Can we talk into show and show around? Oh uh, yeah, I'd love to take you guys around town. Um, maybe take you to the ice skating rink, take you to some galleries, show you some local shopping, and uh, yeah, give you a flavor of uh, ketchup in Sun Valley. Sounds good, let's go get some fresh air. Is this your dog? That's Buck. Hey Buck, let's bring Buck on the walk. So what's this place? This is the Galleria. That's a great place to come shopping, collection of shops, and uh, there's a bakery with uh, amazing Ooh. lattes and cappuccinos and baked goods right down here in the middle. Your dog is cracking me up, dude. Oh man, like, you know, you can tell why dogs, you know, they, how they ended up being man's best friend. This is way cool. Yeah, this is, a, this is a great local amenity. It's open all winter long, totally free. Uh, this is the Atkinson's uh, Park, and this is our ice skating rink. This ice skating rink is just you know, proof of how much the community cares about this town and, uh, and all the fun stuff we have here to do. It's awesome. For more information on Sun Valley and Ketchum, go to visitsunvalley.com. Sun Valley is a Nordic skier's paradise, and our timing is perfect. We're in town for the third annual Sun Valley Nordic Festival. This is a really hot thing for this town. Yeah, absolutely. We get a great crowd out here. We're, uh, we're hoping to have 500 down here by later tonight, which in a town our size is a pretty good sized group. Really great to see all the kids out here. We just saw the kids race. The seniors are coming up. But yeah. it, this is a great sport to start as a young kid. It is. We have uh, an incredible program here in the Valley. We start kids off young. You know, we've got kids racing on the World Cup today, and we've got six-year-olds racing out here on this course today. Why is it so big here? Why in Sun Valley? Well, uh, there's a lot of reasons. Uh, a lot of big personalities involved in the sport in this town. And then also we've got some of the best skiing in the world. The energy here today is awesome. I'm excited for the finals. What's yeah. your prediction? I'm still going to pick our hometown guys. Colin Rogers, Nicole DeYoung, nobody is faster in the last 100 meters than Colin Rogers. So he's going to smoke them. And they're off. There we go. Big win for Colin. Across the line, backwards. I'm with the champions, Nicole and Colin. Now, you guys had some extra pressure on you. Sure did. I was talking to the MC beforehand, and I said, who do you think's going to win? You can tell us. <laughs> I said, I'm going with the local boys. Well, Colin and Nicole, and you guys did it, man. Yeah, you know, I, it went all right. Matt was pushing really hard. We were really tight together. He pushed the pace early, and I just tried to hang on him, conserve a little energy. Now, you're not from here. You came from Alaska, Correct. and you've been here for five years. How do you like Sun Valley? You know, it's great. I have to say, I really like the sun. <laughs> <laughs> it's so called Sun Valley for a reason, right? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> but we had a great time watching you guys win this thing today. Congratulations. Yeah. Have a great time tonight. The race is over, but the party's just beginning. Live music, snowshoe dancing, and a lot more. This was a very cool event. Coming up on Next Stop, a cool local hangout, Whiskey Jacks, for our local band segment. Hey, you better find somewhere to go. For our local Sun Valley music segment, we're at Whiskey Jacks in downtown Ketchum. Now, I've been here before, and the place did not look like this last time I was here. We had a catastrophic fire burning the ground. Our boss, bless her heart, decided to rebuild and built this beautiful new bar. We got a full game room in the back. We got eight high def TVs. This is one of our popular sandwiches, a grinder, served with onion rings. Our most popular item are our spicy bourbon chicken wings. I'm digging into that. Excellent, good. Fried, finish them off on the grill, sweet tangy sauce. Yum. And then, of course, our world famous pizza. Now, right now, we got a bunch of people dining here. Mm -hmm. This is going to be paid here in a few minutes, right? Yeah, it's, we go from 
a family-friendly pizza establishment to a rockin' nightclub. So, and our band tonight, tell us about these guys. We have Jonathan Warren and the Billy Goats. They come from Boise, Idaho. They are a mix of bluegrass and rockabilly, but they, they got their own little pizzazz they bring to the stage. They call it progressive psychobilly. It's, it's bluegrass with a little edgier edge, so they got a lot of stringed instruments, but they have percussions, and they, they, do, they got a lot of foot stomping too. Sounds fun. It's, go, it's good old hootenanny with these guys. Tuning into Next Stop from Sun Valley, a world class year round resort destination. Thanks to Jack and your friendly and knowledgeable staff for helping make our trip fantastic. Thanks also to our good friends and title sponsors, Alaska Airlines and the Alaska Airlines Visa Signature Card. Next Stop, where will we take you next? Make good memories, everybody. There is some great terrain that we offer here anything from really mellow greens to a steeper blue. That's great. <laughs> okay. Hello America, I'm Lily Enos and coming up next <laughs> Coming up next on next stop is John Tours Idaho. 